In this video, we are going to look at the scratch collapse test for carpal tunnel syndrome. Download the free PhysioTutors app now and become the best clinician you can be. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Carpal tunnel syndrome is the most common entrapment neuropathy of the upper limb caused by compression of the median nerve as it passes through the carpal tunnel at the wrist. It is commonly associated with repetitive hand movements, prolonged wrist flexion, pregnancy, diabetes, or other conditions that lead to increased pressure in the carpal tunnel. Cheng et al. from 2008 originally proposed the scratch collapse test as a method to evaluate suspective nerve entrapments. Their study reported a sensitivity of 64 and specificity of 99%. However, a more recent meta-analysis from 2023 by Jane et al. report a pooled sensitivity of 29.4 and specificity of 90.4% when compared to electrodiagnostic tests. These findings indicate that while the test has high specificity, it has limited sensitivity. Given that the test has undergone several investigations, its pooled statistical values render its clinical value strong for confirming the presence of carpal tunnel syndrome. To perform the test, have the patient in a standing or sitting position with the arms in the anatomical position, elbows flexed to 90 degrees and the hands outstretched. So now apply bilateral resisted external rotation at the distal forearm and instruct the patient to match your force without excessive effort. Then scratch or swipe with your fingertips over the median nerve at the wrist. Immediately repeat the resisted external rotation test. Now the test is considered positive if you observe a brief loss of external rotation strength following the scratch stimulus. The authors of the test propose that the response is due to the cutaneous silent period, a brief inhibition of motor activity in response to a noxious stimulus over a chronically compressed nerve. All right, you can check out another test for carpal tunnel syndrome on the left. And if you want to dive deeper into the literature used in this video, check the links in the video description. If this video was valuable, give it a like. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Links to our ebook, app, and our online courses are in the description down below if you want to check those out. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. See you next time and bye.